Uh, we have now two somewhat uh, full expressions. Uh, remember, the examples we've been doing before is just one uh, curve with um, one curve with you know x bounds, y bounds, straight line bounds. But now we have two curves and straight line bounds. So let's go ahead and draw this and see what it looks like. So let's go ahead and draw uh, from x equals 0 to x equals 1. So here's 1. So here's one side of the bound, and here's another. And we know that negative x squared plus 3 is something like this. But since we're only interested in between this region, we don't need to draw the other half of the graph. And ln of x plus 2 is simply ln of x plus 2 is just ln of x shifted up to, uh, shifted to the left uh, two units. So here's ln of x plus 2, and here is negative x squared plus 3. So we know that negative x squared plus 3 is always higher than ln of x plus 2. So that becomes our f of x, negative x squared plus 3. So this is a region we're looking for. Let's make this really, really really, really focused here. It's this little, little tiny chunk right here. This is the area we're looking for. Okay, so let's just go ahead and apply our theorem. Here, area equals from 0 to 1 integrated negative x squared plus 3 minus ln of x plus 2 dx. So now we have to do is just solve this integral. So this means that negative one third x to the third plus three x minus, we might have to do a substitution here, but if we recognize that the derivative of x is just one, so nothing really changes. We won't need to multiply anything, so let's treat this as one unit because we can. So minus one over x plus 2, integrated from 0 to 1. So plugging everything in, we get negative 1 third plus 3 minus 1 third minus 0 plus 0 minus a half, which equals approximately 2.83. So to solve for area between curves, we have to really keep in mind which curve is above the other one and know our bounds very, very clearly. Then after that, we just apply the area formula. So thanks for watching educator.com. We will see you in the next lesson.